guys. This is uh, our, our presentations. Abascal, Juan, and me, Roberto. Okay. Uh, this is our design brief. The client of these uh, high school students, the designers, IED engineering students, the problem statement. Modern day vehicles uh, that are power powered are bulky, heavy, expensive, and non -environment, environmentally friendly. This combination may contribute to its being unsafe as well. Design statement. Create a lightweight pedal car that uses materials that are environmentally friendly compared to current factory paradigms. The pedal car must be durable enough to traverse a predetermined obstacle course. The constraints are PVC frame, rubber tires, pedal system, support over up to 200 pounds, steering mechanism, and must be done by May 14th and must have the ability to reduce its speed. We go back, just, this is good for everybody, and I'm not going to grade against this, but you're looking at the constraints, right? Um, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking at the constraints, we know number one is a constraint. Is number two a real constraint, or is that an internal constraint? It's, uh, like, it has to be, it has to be made out of tires. Has to be made out of Is rubber. that something that was given to you, or is that we an We were internal? encouraged to use rubber tires. So what I would say is don't make that a constraint. Make that a design statement I think. Understand the difference between a constraint and a design statement. A design statement is how you plan to design it, okay? A constraint is something that you're limited to do. And having rubber wheels, you're not limited. That's a favorable character, I mean, a favorable component that you want from it. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Uh, um, support up to that, that I think is a legit mm -hmm. thing. Steering mechanism, obviously, must be done, yes. The rest is the number two, I just wanted to point that out, that that would be something in your design. We'll be made out of rubber wools and whatever, we'll talk more about that. Yeah, but by, by the way, this uh, design brief is not the most updated one. If you look at the one uh, on the wall, the I remember, we had decided on those constraints as a class. Then I sent this over to the period three class and then they made some modification. Okay, and so that particular one, number two, they Spirits. had changed it. Instead of rubber tires, they just put wheels of some kind. Yeah, see that's good. Okay, and uh, where it says pedal system, they modified it. They said human powered pedal system. Yeah. So that that design brief is about uh, a day earlier okay. than the one than the final one. That's great. Right. That's good that you made the modifications. Okay, great. Yeah. Go continue. I'm sorry to interrupt. And uh, budget, you cross reference the prices when you research. Uh, three wheels would be sixty dollars. The pedal card seat would be forty five. The rubber sheeting would be ten, and the handlebars would be twenty five. Where where are you getting this information? Research. Where where what are your sources? Different websites you cross. We cross-reference different sources, such as going on Amazon, eBay, different bicycle websites, etc. Let's suppose I told you right now we have that money. Go ahead and get started. What could you have done to make it a lot more time efficient? We could have written down the websites where we got each one. Each one, you should have a you should have a list of the actual look. Like if it's Home Depot, and then if it's not Home Depot, if it's Amazon, then the website, or if there's a contact or a method of payment. For example, this is what we do in the engineering, because if now you say three wheels, okay, now you're wasting a whole day where you already did that, right? You did the research, just compile it in a way where you, okay, now, guys, I just, here's 150, can you do it? Can you, can you get started? And the reality is no, you can't. You gotta go back to the website, you gotta go get the information, so that would be the next tier. Continue. But that's nice that you itemize that, I'm just saying as, suggestions to the next step. So when we're ready to build this, before we can approve it, we want to be able to see each itemized place. Whatever team is responsible for the final yes. uh, cut yeah. has, to, has to go back and look at the screencast and has to listen to the recommendations that Mr. Sharon and I are giving and implement those recommendations in the final report, okay? Remember, this is an intermediary report. The final report will occur afterwards, okay? Good. All right, so this is how our design started. We decided, um, once we brought our ideas together, we agreed on this one. It uh, uses three wheels and seat in the back, you know, steering system here. But the, we decided that there were some things that we could improve upon it. For example, um, we realized that according to this design, the wheel can't move because it's connected to PVC to the rest of the frame. We also realized that using a wheel in this design would not make the wheel turn on a vertical axis, but rather a horizontal one. 
So it wouldn't allow it to turn, it'd just make it tip over. So we started with this, we started working from there. Oh, obviously, as it says here, this is made out of PVC. We have our tire, the three tires, as said before, in the budget. And here, we also thought, how can we make this safer? Especially since we are the um, marketing. One of the best things that we can do to market this is not only say how environmental it is, as we talked about as a class in the design statement, but also how we can make it safe and efficient for people of all ages. Mm -hmm. So, um, next slide, please. Here all right, here is it from a, a different point of view. We innovated it. This is our second design. We're going a bit more, we added a different brake system, one that would be easier, such um, uh, brakes, brake lever, yes. Um, and we also add it's a, uh, a frame, right, going across. Oh, we can't. Okay. I'm not well, sure, I'm not sure why that's not working. I'm sorry. We decided that the best way, the most dangerous part of this whole uh, cart will be the seat. So we decided to make it more secure by adding a frame around the seat out of PVC to make sure it's secure and in place. We also. Uh, Do you, as you have a drawing of that? Because I, I'm having trouble. It's. Yeah, on the next one. Yeah, it's kind of there, it's kind of, the angle makes it a little hard to see, but, um, and also, we decided we needed to upgrade the turning, so. But then the sketch go back, I, I really like that sketch, just height, uh, uh, darken the pedals, so you can see it a little clearer. You see the, the word pedals? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just from a standpoint of documentation, but very good, continue. Okay. Oh, that brings up a good point, guys, in, in, in the final report, okay, if you're going to take a picture and scan it with your phone, okay, make sure that the the lighting is is better than, than what you see there, okay. Um, also, the if for those that have a new iPhone, the iPhone 4S, it automatically makes enhancements to the pictures before you save it. So um, try to get a try to get a smartphone that has better, you know, like high definition quality pictures. Okay. Go ahead, yes. Uh, next slide. This is the final design which we are proposing to you right now. Um, you can see a little better how we have this frame going. We also upgraded the wheel to handlebars, average ones found on a bike. Uh, that we were thinking not to make out of PVC, but to, rather to actually buy it because we think that would, we want the maximum um, efficiency, but we want to make sure that it works at the best capability possible. Um, we also it's a little hard to see here because of the picture resolution, but we detached the front wheel from the rest of the frame. Instead, we connect, we've connect. we secured it to it, but we are attaching it directly to the steering. That way, as you turn, it does turn more on a vertical axis, and it won't just make the wheel turn horizontally and make you flip over it. Also, um, the brake system, which we're going to get to in a second, we've up, we upgraded it to a unique design to make it uh, the safest way possible because we realized a brake lever on one side would instead of making you stop it would probably cause you to stop and then pivot and uh, he's going to take that from here. Can I, can I say something? Who's the design team and construction team? Uh, in terms of talking about motion just so that you can consider being the marketing team I like horizontal and vertical I think that's good but when you're talking about inventor and building you want to use X Y and Z why do you think that's important? And if you're talking about motion this way, it's easier to understand. Secondly, remember, you have three dimensions. You have, you have going across, up and down, and then the steering is really the Z, if you're thinking about it, right? It's actually the Z. So if you're doing inventor and you're trying to animate it, it's good to think in three dimensions. And uh, you're using the vertical for, uh, and horizontal, that's fine. But keep in mind, if, we're all, if you're trying to communicate effectively with designers, it's probably not the most ideal because it's all relative, right, to what position you're starting at. Okay, continue. Uh, actually, go back a second, or you know, go to the next one. You can, we also decided to make it extra safe because, you know, as the marketing team, we want to be able to pitch that to our crowd. We've at, we decided um, we should add reflective tape on it to different areas. It is going to, it's extremely cheap. It's just another where, thing. We where is that? Where, where, where do you see it? There? Right here. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So it's visible at night, yeah. I really like the, you guys are definitely in the, the marketing minds. I like the, the idea of the reflection. 
Um, okay, continue. Uh, Here you can get a better idea of how the wheel is independent of the frame and yet still able to support the weight. Uh, it's going to be on a shaft connecting to the steering right here. We are going to have it, um, this is going to be more for the construction team how to um, secure the steering to the rest of the frame so that when you sit on it, it doesn't you know, break into two different parts, you know, the front wheel and the rest. But th we found that this would probably be the most efficient way to keep the steering safety and um, the rest in the maximum efficiency in the safest way possible. Um, before you continue, guys, um, raise your hands. Who's doing the inventory? Okay, guys, everything that you need to really go back and listen to what JP is talking about in this screencast, okay? You need to go back and every time he mentions something like, well, um, that way you can see how the steering is separate from the rest of the frame. You need to be able to create a drawing, an adventure, and or an animation showing that, okay? <coughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Because oh, he's explaining a lot, but what he's explaining has to now be visualized uh, using adventure. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, now we're going to take on the brakes. Okay. This is the braking system, which was my idea. It's basically like this. This will be the seat, and here will be the handlebars. And it goes like this, you pull it, and this part goes down and it has rubber here, and it touches the ground, so it stops. So it kind of like hits the ground and stops when you pull it. And as you see, there's a drawing when you pull it up, it goes down. This goes down and touches the ground. It would be, this would be made out of rubber, so it would stop. The main difference here is that instead of having it go down on one side, it can stop the whole part, the, mom the entire momentum of the entire part rather than the momentum of one side or one set of wheels. And also, we figured the best way to create the best resistance would be to have um, a very strong uh, spring and attach it from the lever to the car. That way you can pull it and it'll let go instead of hitting the ground from there. Where's the spring right there in the drawing? It's not in this drawing because we just wanted to show the actual idea of how it goes completely under and you can pull it in the rest this of the This goes right. across. Right. It'll be the seat and the handlebars. Yeah. So What's the bottom piece made out of rubber, you said? Yeah, rubber. Yeah. Um, two things, guys, before you go on to the next slide. Um, I was kind of, you mentioned, oh, this was my, this particular component was my idea. Make sure you put an arrow, make sure you initial it. Okay, because, see, when you, when I see initials there on the, on the, on the drawing, you, it, it's, it's, a, it's like an indicator for you also, for you to chime in and explain why you initialed what you did. Like if you would have done like a spring thing there and initialed it, JP, right away you would have, you would have been able to discuss it. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That there's, in other words, there's certain things of this drawing that are not there. If you would have included and initialed it, it would have been, it would have made the. Well, we this think we figured that out of our whole cart, this would probably be one of the most complex things to explain without a drawing. So we really wanted in this sketch to just really show how it's secure on both sides and how it's going to actually stop the entire momentum of the cart in the safest way possible. Okay, so right. then you're going to get together with the inventor people later and and have help them when they're doing this in inventor, right? Well, yeah, the spring is not very complex at all. Well, but the braking system. Yes, the braking. That that'll be. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> overall, what is the awesomeness factor of this? Uh, besides our awesome brake system, yeah, it's still thirty dollars under the entire budget. They, uh, the budget just between us, you said, of one hundred eighty dollars. Right. It's still extra safe as we pitched, and our brakes are unique. Remember, remember what, what I said, guys. We have a budget of two hundred dollars mm -hmm. if um, we order the parts. But if you bring in your own parts and you itemize it, we're going to go up to three hundred dollars. Okay. So yeah, we cut that in half. Good. Okay. So if, if you now if you're talking about bringing your own parts, as long as you itemize it, as long as you find on the web or on Granger's, okay, if you find out how much those parts cost and you include it in the budget, then we can go up to three hundred dollars. If you do not, if you guys do not want to bring your own parts, then we have a budget of two hundred dollars. And of course, we'll provide the PVC, we'll provide the tools, and then you guys. You know, you have to That's why we started yeah. making a, so, uh, a large majority you know, out of PVC. Okay, uh, any guys, uh, Abascal, uh, Gonzalez, any other comments or? Oh uh, no.
Can you cut the cut the uh, the audio? Okay, all P, all P. May I, may I say something? 